Come back, we're going to put these two lanterns side by side and we're going to explain the differences between them. Besides price. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video is finding you well. So we're going to put these two lights side by side. I've been using both of these for over a couple years now. This one just in the last year, but this one I've had for a couple years now. We're going to go over the differences, price differences, major price difference between the two. So maybe we can boil down to which one's right for you. So the oldest one, or the one I've had the longest, is the Lucy Light. Now these can be found at Walmart. Uh, this is a blown blow up. When I say blow up, you have to inflate it with air. Solar charged only LED light. Now you do get a battery indicator to show you how much charge you have. If you have all three dots, you're full. You do have a power switch right here on top, which when pressed, turns on the light. That's its brightest mode and then flicker or blink and then off. Now the only way to charge this thing is the solar panel. What I always do with this light, a couple days before I'm going out camping or whatever, I'll throw it in the dash of the truck and it rides around the dash of the truck for a while. We'll talk about a con that I have with this light here in just a minute after we look at the other light. Okay. The other one is the Luminade. Now, um, this is the Pack Light Nova USB. I don't know if there's one below this one or not. Maybe not. There, I know there's several above this one. But you get kind of the same thing except for they do add... I don't know if you can see that. Let me get my... There's a little light that will light up right there when this is charging. It goes from red to yellow to green. If it's getting green, you're getting a full charge on it. Now, there is your how much power the battery's got. And then there is your on button and your different settings. It goes quite low. Then you got your blink mode. Um, one thing it has that the oven doesn't, it has charging capability. So you can charge this light before you go. But then you have a solar panel. You can see that little light's on right now, actually, because it's actually getting somewhat of a charge. But you can actually uh, charge this one before you go camping. And then during the day when you're, you know, it's not dark, you can put this out in the sun and it can be charging itself back up. Now, the differences between them is about 15, 20 bucks in price. This one's much cheaper. This one has a couple of features this one doesn't have. The first feature is the little light to tell you that it's actually charging. This one you have no way of telling. Uh, the only way you can tell is by pressing your battery button to see where your battery charge is. This one, you've got the little light. Now, if you want to make sure before you go that you have a decent charge, you can charge it with the USB. And it uses the micro USB. It doesn't use a USB-C, but it uses a micro USB. Um, that, to me, is your two major differences between these two lights. Are those two features worth more than this? Well, I don't know. I mean, that's up to you. They're both about the same size and height. I'll put it right there. One's round, one's square. They both pack down flat. Both handles. And snap. And you can lay it flat. Sorry, yeah, you can lay it flat to let the air out of them. Pretty much the same thing on both of them. You pull a little corky cork like you would on any other air aired up thing and flatten it out. Um, 
Lemonade, I think you can get on Amazon. I bought it straight through Lemonade. I actually had a discount code to buy one, so I took advantage of it and did it. Lucy Lights, you can buy through Walmart, and I'm sure you can get them on Amazon also. And when I say there's a difference in price, these are about 39 bucks. These are about 15. So if you're on a budget, that $15 is going to win out. We're going to cut out the big lights and we're going to turn both of them on because they're both completely charged. We're going to turn them both on and see how they go as far as brightness together. One. So come back. Okay, so we got all the lights off. The only lights are on in the garage right now are these two things. Now, you compare the two. They're both on as high as they'll go. And they look to me to be about the same brightness. Um, don't seem like one's any less bright than the other. Now, this is more of a frosted um, diffused light, whereas this one's more of a super bright. Um, of course, if you have it sitting like I normally would, it would be perfect sitting on a little table in the tent so it lights up the tent. Um, but this one's more of a frosted light, whereas this one's not. So let me cut the lights back on and we'll talk. All right, so how do I use these lights? Well, I use them in my tent at night um, when I go in for the night. I will put one on the table. And this one been lost for a little bit. So this one's been its duty is to be the table light. And I'll leave that right there beside the cot and everything. And what I'll do is if I get up in the middle of the night, I'll hit the switch to turn it on, go do the thing, come back, get back in bed, turn the light off. What I like about these, they're not stupid bright like my other one that I use quite a bit in the top of the tent. So this one's sitting on the table. One of these is sitting on the table when I'm using these. Um, so where do they fit in everybody's system? Well, I'm going to use both of them. Um, Price-wise, if you're on a budget, that. If you're not on a budget, I'd go with this one. But neither one of them, I don't think personally, you could go wrong with. Uh, I've had this one a lot longer. I've had this one actually two or three years now. This one I've only had, uh, it's going on a full year. So I'm, I'm really impressed with how they work. What else I like about them, give me just a second and I'll show you the best part about these lights. So if you want, if you're having to um, conserve space, Maybe you got an SUV or something you're camping in or small tent or backpacking even. Because these don't weigh nothing. I'll put a weight on the Lucy light. But that's how small that light packs down because you let all the air out and you're left with that. Now the cool part about that is you can strap that to a backpack as you're hiking all day to charge if you're backpacking even. So you say, well, how small does the Luminate get? Well, let's take a look and see real quick. It's kind of dark, I'm sorry. We'll turn it off. There we go, oh, more. I do like that there's a couple more settings on it as far as how bright. So we mash it down and you're gonna find you got pretty much the same footprint except for one square, one's flat around and you know, what is your preference? And like I said, what is your cost? What, where do you want to be cost wise with one of these? 15 bucks, 40 bucks. So that makes a difference in probably some of you's um, decision on these things. Now, what I like is this strap goes around it to keep it deflated and if you wanted to strap it to your backpack, you still can. And that way that's in the sun and getting recharged just like this one. Now, I think, let me check. I have never tried this before and it may work or it may not work. No. So that strap is in front of the photo cell all the time, but it's clear. So that makes a difference there. 
it's gonna still get the same amount of light because I know I throw this up in the dash of the truck and if I was in an overlanding situation still throw this in the dash of the vehicle and let it charge as you're going wherever you're going now we know you know if you have low light situation a lot of clouds or whatever you may not get the best charge but you're going to get enough charge to run you for the night but anyways that's it guys i've always wanted to compare these two like i said this one was mia for a minute found it so i wanted to compare these two and bring them to you and that's what we're doing um, but you will see these lights and videos to come camping as usual we'll see you on the next one guys be prepared